What is going on, Roland Empire? I'm here to do a quick recap of the 89th Annual Academy Awards. You know, the original title before it was shortened to just Oscars, because apparently the whole title originally is very complicated. And I just wanted to talk about quickly what went down with the ceremony. You know, Jimmy Kimball, good host, especially when we had these last few years. I liked his presentation. You know, I've seen his show, you know, loads of times. I like the man. So I just feel like, you know, his kind of like Oscars special version of his show, you know, having his little skits like in the middle, you get those fans that come in, you know, kind of felt like a little bit staged, felt a little bit realistic, but wasn't too sure. I wouldn't be surprised if it was just staged, but it felt like his little skits he has for his show. Uh, his introduction was entertaining, at least. Of course, we would be talking about, you know, what is in with, you know, how America is this year, which that would be the presidential election and Kimmel talking to my president and and you know it was pretty entertaining just him delivering his type of comedic you know dialogue for the beginning poking fun a little bit at like you know directors and you know talking about how you know how the Oscars has been how it you know changes host every year having you know candy come out from the sky you know something it was a little bit clever you know that wasn't done before and the awards itself for the night I thought they were pretty good you know, um, I can't say there were really surprises, but this was an unpredictable race. I could have saw anybody win. I'm, I'll am i start with the animation. I'm glad Zootopia won. I know Moana was the favorite. That was a good movie, but Zootopia, just the way that movie was with its themes, the way it tackled it and, you know, used that in kids film. It was impressive for me. Best song went to City of Stars, but Audition was such a good one too. It's like I went into the movie like Audition, but I think I like City of Stars more. I would have been happy with either one or even... I could have been happy with, with Moana one, La La Land one. They were all good choices. But City of Stars came out winning on top. I'm okay with that. That really was a, me a standout of the songs in La La Land. The best supporting actor and the best supporting actress, you know, went to Mahershala Mah Mah Ali and Viola Davis. Mahershala Ali, you know, e even though not a lot in the movie, he had an impact that lasted throughout the movie. And really, his character really was a driving force for, to get this, you know, film going, the story of the movie. And he really, like, deserved it. Good race in there as well. I could have seen others win it too. But who they picked, who was the winner, I'm okay with that. He, it's, he really brought this just, just gravitas, just this father-like figure to the main kid actors. And I'm pretty glad that he won the award. Viola Davis, you know, you could say that she could have been Best Actress. I kind of, you know, would want to see that. You know, I feel like she was that deserving for a Best Actress, but she won it for Best Supporting Actress. You know, I thought even when the trailers came out, I was like, you know, people were all push shining the line at Denzel, but she, oh my goodness, just give her the award for the trailer alone. And, you know, I would have thought a few months later, now she has the award. She just gave a powerful emotional performance. We got some screenplays that went out to Manchester by the Sea and Moonlight. You know, well deserved. You know, they're really, you know, character based. Their stories are very powerful. Moonlights, especially, I like, you know, the whole three ch art chapter and just how it was, you know, just adapted well. And you can tell that you just, the story just was one of the very positive parts of the movie. And, you know, and it really did deserve it. You can't go on with quicker and not congratulate also the people that do the editing, this just the you know, this the CGI special effects, the costumes, you know. I'm glad they have awards like that. I wanna see more other, you know, awards get added on, like kinda like a stunt, you know, double category as one of them too. Best actor and best actress went to Casey Affleck and Emma Stone. Casey Affleck, you know, one of the talks for them, you know, for that award. Not surprised he won it. Congrats to him. You know, one of the best parts of the movie. I could have saw, you know, Ryan Gosling won it since, you know, La La Land was hot. And he could have possibly went together just the chemistry of the characters in the movie. And, I, you know, I really like Andrew Garfield. I thought he gave a really great performance to in Hacksaw Ridge. I just love the character in that. But he just was the driving force of the movie. The best actress you have, Meryl Streep there. You know, one of the legends who's been in this. They said it was her 20th nomination. You know, Natalie Portman, she's won it, so she, you know, she's got something up her sleeve. She could have maybe taken this one too. 
you know, the odds were in the air for anybody, but Emma Stone won it. Congrats to her. She is, yeah, one of the incredible standouts of La La Land. She is what gives the movie heart. And, you know, it was really much deserving after seeing her get nominated for Birdman. So, you know, it's kind of great that she's back now for the, instead of supporting the actress one now, and seeing her get it, it's pretty cool. For Best Director, ooh, we got some heavy hitters here. I could have saw Denis Villeneuve win it for Arrival. Oh, of course, though, I would kind of aside as a compensation for also for Sicario, for Prisoners, for Enemy. That guy could have won it. I would have been so happy with it, like, you know, personally for me. And then we also have Barry Jenkins from Moonlight. Incredible movie. He shot it so well. He gave it this artistic flair. But the guy that won it was Damien Chazelle. You know, one of the favorites also for that. I'm not surprised, but I'm so happy. He, you know... Kind of like Mad Max, how they had all these kind of characters fit into one picture. And, you know, for those chase sequences, he kind of did something like that. I'm not comparing it exactly, but he, he was able to grab so much and add it into a, you know, a frame by frame of a limitation of this musical that, you know, it's not something as easy as you think. And I, just him coordinating, you know, every every shot for, you know, the music and just having these actors, you know, come to life and... You know, give this homage to just Hollywood, but not make it seem cheesy. And, you know, setting a modern take, Jamie Chazelle just, you know, I can see as one of the people that did deserve this best director. So I'm glad he got it. But now, let's talk about the most surprising part of the night. Some people might call this controversial, but boy. This is what people are going to come out, you know, talking about tonight, tomorrow, from years to come. Suicide Squad winning an Academy Award. Who would have thought it? Oh, Jesus. No, no, no. In reality, it was, you know, La La Land was going up there. They were all happy. You could see everybody's eyes. Emma Stone, Damien Chazelle. They, they were best pictured. They were thinking their families. But then you just, you see them come in. You're like, wait a minute. They're like, hold up. And then they're like, is this a joke? What's going on? And I'm like, this is reminding me of, you know, the Steve Harvey incident. And then they're like, we made a mistake, guys. Uh, you know, and then they're trying to prove that, you know, they're like, Moonlight actually won. And I was just like, wait a minute, what the freak? Who would have thought? I, I didn't know what to believe at first. I was like, is this part of a stunt or something? And then it, it just, the, the Academy Awards did a tech, but just, just gave themselves a big L on their chest. Who would have thought? Oh my God, they, they messed up. And Moonlight was actually the winner. Who would have thought, seriously? And then here's the thing, though. As I was waiting to see who was going to get announced, I was like, Damon Chazelle won La La Land. I won't be surprised if Moonlight wins this. I kind of want to see them win it. Like, It's been one of those few years where one movie wins director, one best, best picture. I know they're kind of different, just the way how they're given for just the achievements. But still, that's how it's been decided for some movies that they can't decide who should win overall. So they do that. So I was like, you know, he got it for La La Land. I was like, I won't be surprised for Moonlight. And then, you know, La La Land won. But then they were like, oh, no, wait, Moonlight won. So I was like, oh, my gosh. I was like, I was happy for La La Land. But, but I'm also happy that Moonlight won. It really was an important piece of film. You know, if you look at my top, uh, top 10 movies, sure, La La Land is in there. Moonlight is not. But if you look at my, my description under the video, honorable mentions, Moonlight's on there. It really only came out of the top 10 just a smidge. But it, I'm, I was still glad that Moonlight won. It's just, I felt bad for those, the La La Land crew. I just saw their disappointments. I was like, oh man, and this is a, you know, a best picture where a lot of people, even people that are not there, can, th those that are there can go back and tell the others that we won. I was just like, oh man, it sucks for them. I feel sad for them, but I'm happy that Moonlight won still. I was just like kind of conflicted. I would have been happy either way, but damn, what a controversy. I don't, I don't know whose fault it was for this error, you know, it could have been Warren Beatty, but he was trying to cover up that, you know, he read the wrong card. Honestly, if you kind of sense that it was wrong, I don't know why you couldn't s have said something, you know. Try to make one less correction before announcing it. So, yeah, they try to prove that, you know, Moonlight was the winner, and it surely was. But, man, what an ending, seriously. And then, I, I love Jimmy Kimmel. He he's a good sport for at least just, just trying to save the embarrassment and just, you know... Laugh it off in a way where it's respectful. And I love seeing the Law Line producers and Moonlight producers just shake it off and just, you know, just give the award to the person that written, written, truly deserved it because they both did. But the one that really got it in the card 
you know, is the winner. So damn, what a crazy ending to this 89th annual Academy Awards. Seriously. It really was an entertaining Academy Awards throughout. I was not bored once. Um, only a little bit of, you know, some of the maybe kind of like jokes that went in throughout were eventually getting kind of annoying for me. But, you know, Kimmel and everybody else that just went and presented just continue the show to flow so well so let me know guys what you thought of this whole academy awards ceremony what do you think of of the wins what do you think of that ending oh boy this is something to talk about for days to come leave all your opinions in the comments below and as always roll an empire laugh smile repeat